Hello guys, welcome to this session of Power BI series. Uh, here we are going to talk about the logical operators. And here you can see I've selected a product and a price visual. And we are going to actually use the logical operators to filter, filter out a range of price of products as well as I'm going to explain to you guys how to format our code with variable as well as adding comments to it. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and create a new key major. Let's create a new key major. Here we are just going to call it. Let's just call it a, a logic logical operator. Let's call it operator. So I'm going to use uh, our calculate function normal. And uh, let's uh, filter from the revenue from the revenue uh, major. So here we want to filter out. Uh, this is the filter function. We want to filter out a product price range first. So let's filter the product price range. The product, first of all, it comes to the table first. You can see the function here. It comes to the table, then the filter expression. The filter expression is a product price. A product price, I want it to fall, uh, want it to fall within uh, 6 SU6. Then here comes the logical operators. Let's use the end. The end we use this double uh, sign here, and uh, <coughs> we'll add another um, expression again. Here it says table then expression. You can see return a table that has been filtered. You can pass in as many expression as you want in one filter function. We want you to return uh, product price less than six in product price uh, greater than 4. Let's, let's look at this first and let's see how it, it looks like. Let's look at this first so it looks like. So let's visualize it. Here you can see we have product price 2.9, 7.9 and so let's, let's add this filter now and let's see how it works. And here you can see it has filter out product price for us within the range of 6 and also the range of uh, for this is how you can use the logical operators. Let's see how we can also apply it in other instances. Let's say, for instance, we want to return, uh, uh, let's say, we want to filter out uh, products starting with a particular alphabet. Then we can use this uh, left function here. This left function here, and uh, let me close it first. We can use this left function here. Uh, before that, we need to add, add the operator first. So here we can use an OR operator. So here we want to pass in the, the expression. So it's actually product. We want to filter out the product uh, with a particular alphabet. So we want to start from first and we want products which are actually equals to let's see which product here are much. Let us see again much. So let's use data C. Let us see and let's see if this is going to work. So this is going to return product ice units each. The reason why we are seeing product price less than three is because we use the all operator. This is actually an all operator. So it is either this condition it is met, this one here it is met, or this one is met. But if we use an end operator now, I don't think we are going to see that. Let's see that. Let's see. So I see it. This is not a matter of a probability. This is a strict instruction. Get me products that fall between the range of six and four, and start with the letter C. I see it. If I want to return the products that do not start with the letter C, I can come here and use this operator. This is this particular operator here. This one here. This this particular operator stands for not. So if I return that now, it should return me products which actually fulfill this uh, particular condition here and excluding the letter C. So this is how you can do it. This is how you can actually use the OR operator. So another thing again I want to show you guys is uh, let's see how we can format our code properly using the using the 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 uh, variables variables so here let us let us return this let us 
let's actually reduce this thickness let me put an or let me put an or so here so that we have a lot of products in case we want to filter out much product so here if i want to add a variable i need to format this properly first if i can add a variable so i can come here and press my shift key with enter and this is going to jump to the next line of code just with your shift key and enter and this will jump to my next line of code i can as well as place my tab to shift it in so here i can come here and actually shift this filter down and from here this product as a whole i can take it to another line are you seeing it and i will come here this is actually the last brace closing the the complete calculate function so i think that should be actually uh closing this particular function here i seen this this is this is actually formatted very neatly i seen it and if i hit enter it's still going to work without no error this is just how you can format your code uh properly well so let's go ahead and see how we can add a variable for the for instance from here i can come here and add a variable and i can add my bar if i if i add the the bar this as a variable and i want to call this uh logic i can call this logic and on top of here i can add another comment and here i can say this uh this this is a function for calculating uh logical filtering just just anything i seen it this is a function for calculating logical filtering i seen it so here the reason why i'm seeing this is because i've not actually assigned this uh uh variable to this so you see this is the variable holding it now the logic variable so i can come here and add another filter i just need to come here and add another comma so i'll shift enter let me come back here and let's add another filter this is another filter i can have so many filter and this filter here i want to actually filter the locations i want to filter the locations and the table name is location so here i'll pass and say you pass in table name the filter expression and the filter expression here is i want to pass in the location state where it is uh equals to uh, arizona arizona did i spell it well Oh, I'm actually spelling it outside the business, so that's why I got an error. Arizona. Are you seeing it? So I can go ahead and close it now. So I seen it here now. I have two filter. If I hit that, I should get an error because I've not actually returned this. So let's go ahead and define another um variable. Let me define this. Uh I'll call this uh second second bar let's just define something very simple let's say 2 plus 2 uh, minus 2 this is another one so once i'm done with defining my my variables now i can return i see it now i can return so i need to return so after i return now i can say now i can say i want to do the formula now i guess i want to do the uh the formula uh of of variables just something don't, don't try to explain to you guys so here i want to let's say i want to act like the formula here okay let's say i want to uh minus the revenue the revenue from uh the logic if i click logic you see this this is this particular uh one here it shows that it's a variable uh, minus okay let's say okay minus the logic um plus um second var second var plus logic plus logic this, this is actually going to give us something very crazy i don't know let's just hit enter let's just hit enter and just see what we get here yeah. uh you actually get that uh Okay. okay let's just hit enter and see okay oh <laughs> we actually got an, a value so you can see this value here this particular value here was actually calculated from this 
uh, formula that you see up here, this particular value for each state that you see here. There you see it, it actually calculated this from this particular uh, uh, expression and this formula that we did here. That shouldn't really mind. This particular, what we got here shouldn't really mind. What I was trying to explain to you is how uh, how you can actually uh, format your code if you have huge line of code. I can actually format your code to make it look neatly and readable for you, which is very very important. And here you can see I just passed in a very random variable which doesn't really mean anything. And if we actually come come here and remove all of these, we should, we should be able to get something unique. Let's hit enter and see. So I seen it. We, we were able to get something unique, which is it returned this for only state of Arizona. I, I don't I, I seen it for only state of Arizona. This is only the product that was returned, and the product here was rub, money, Swiss, and chocolate, and the price was 3.9. And this is what we actually got here. If actually change the state, it's actually going to also return that. But because we went ahead and add uh, uh, other um, uh, expression, other filtering condition, we were able to get a very long value. I hope this video helps you, and if it helps you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And you need to subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can be getting amazing and wonderful video. I want you to be the first person to notify once a new video is out, and I, I hope you're going to do that. For this session, the video will be all. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed.